Hi, I'm Jeff, and today I'm going to show you how easy it is to install Raptite SA. To begin with, just to let you know, the, the membrane comes in a box, um, which doubles up as a dispenser. Um, and it's really easy to um, pull out the membrane that you require, measure, and then cut. Um, we've already done some, and so what we'll do is we'll uh, start showing you how to install the membrane. Suggested tools you will need when installing Raptite SAR, a utility knife, a stiff brush, a marker pen, and a measuring tape. We begin by peeling back the corner of the release liner, nicking the edge with the sharp knife, and tearing it along the edge as straight as possible. This will leave a tacky section that allows us to line up the membrane accurately. Positioning doesn't need to be perfect, Raptide SA can be adjusted at this stage of installation and it can easily be removed and reapplied. When you are satisfied you have it lined up properly, continue down the roll, removing the release liner as you go. Press down in the middle, then work out to the sides using hand pressure. This will ensure the membrane is fully adhered to the substrate. Then, go over the membrane with a stiff brush, similar to what you would use for wallpapering. Trim the bottom edge, remove the last section of liner, and press down the edges, and you're done. To install Raptite SA on an entire wall, you will need to install the membrane with an overlap. Vertically and horizontally, we would suggest a minimum of 75 millimeters. We follow the same process as before, this time lining it to the measured mark on the previous sheet of membrane. When finished, apply firm pressure on the overlap to ensure the joint is well sealed. And that's a wrap. 